Hosting Thanksgiving isn't quite as easy it used, as it used to be. There are now a number of food allergies and diet restrictions that you might have to take into consideration. So here to tell us more, does a great job with it, Noreen Thomas from Doubting Thomas Farms. Welcome back. Well, thank you. And we're going to have to dive right in and try some different things and see what you think. The first one is a pie. A lot of people have gluten problems or a sensitivity. Yes. There is a five minute recipe we're gonna post. This is what the crust looks like. Mm. Actually, Abby made that this morning. It just took us very few minutes to make. Try that and see what you think. There's no gluten in that whatsoever. Delicious. I like um, it. So what is the crust? Is it just oatmeal or is it your oats? Well, or? it's Downing Thomas rolled oats. About a fourth a cup of either, you can use um, butter, but if you have people with dairy problems, you can use a fourth a cup of olive oil. Um, just put about two tablespoons of sugar, blend it, Very pat good. it in, and boom, you are done. And we were just saying, you said Abby, Abby Birchner, you were on All Morning on the Valley today with us as well. I said, we're on the same schedule, so you didn't get much sleep last night either, but it's fun and easy. You know, Abby admits that she doesn't do a lot of baking or cooking, and she had an awesome time making this. She did, and you really can't screw it up. You really can't. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things, too. It holds up really good. It's not soggy. Um, you bake this probably for about 10 minutes. You can put pumpkin pie in there. You could put apple. You could put blueberry. Wow. And let's try another thing that gets people in a jam is dairy creamers sometimes. I have a brother with dairy allergies. So we're going to try a coconut cream to Ooh, see nice. what you think. Thank you. And these are very, very simple. You can buy this at Prairie Roots Food Co-op and give that a whirl and see what you think. Mm. Good. Coconut cream sounds fantastic. Here's some almond cream is another. If you don't have mm. nut allergies, this works really well. This is also at Prairie Roots. We just brought that on. Got a little bit on his suit. We won't look at that. Mm. And then we have a pie we're going to try, too. Sometimes people... Um, get kids that come home from college or that are vegan and then, this was me. I'm sorry she did spill but this is at Prairie Roots Food Co-op. You can call today if you call by six o'clock they can make a gluten-free pie for you. Joey there will Ooh. take your call but you have to do it today for Wednesday and he did this so let's give this one a whirl. This is a vegan pie and it wow. cuts beautifully. Yeah it does. Look at that. So I'm interested in trying this because sometimes, you know, you have that one person that's gluten free and then, oh, I don't know if I want to be gluten free just because they are. <laughs> yes. Yes. And this is a nice mm. and we can put a little bit Still of cream good. on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Very excellent. yummy. Excellent. So you're not really losing anything. It doesn't taste, taste just mm. delicious. And they honestly, a couple of years ago, didn't taste so good. They've come a long ways. And if you're just too busy to make your own, just call Prairie Roots Food Co-op, ask for Joey. Or if you want to make it, you can also get the Downing Thomas Rolled Oats. We'll post the recipe online. We also have the soaps made with oatmeal there, too, for a little holiday thing. So what did up. you put in your pie? This pie is so easy. Um, this is like a cup and a half of cooked squash. I use buttercup squash because pumpkin tastes so-so, but really a buttercup squash just adds so much richness to it. I add a couple of eggs to that. You can get the egg substitute if somebody has allergy to eggs. We added some coconut cream to that. Mm. We added some pumpkin pie spice and a cup and a half of sugar and boom, there you go. It's really good. Delicious. And I love how you say it's, you can't mess this up because there are so many things you can mess up about your holiday dinner that when you're doing these foolproof recipes, it really helps calm your stress levels. Very much so. In fact, Abby was very unsure about it this morning, but it turns out wonderfully. In fact, I kind of left the rolled oats a little bit more rougher looking or a little bit larger, and I actually kind of like the, the mm -hmm. looks of that. Mm -hmm. And it feels, the, tr mm. the crust feels like you ate something and there's no guilt. No guilt. Well, there's no guilt. We don't count any of the calories on Thanksgiving. Great ideas. Make it easy to uh, make Thanksgiving, you know, easy for everyone, especially those with food allergies. So thank you so much for coming in and making easy recipes for us. We'll have those up on our Facebook page a little bit later today as well, that North Dakota Today Facebook page. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, and I'm thankful for all of you. <laughs> we'll be right back.